Dame Jane Morris Goodall, born Valerie Jane Morris Goodall, the 3rd of April 1934, formerly Baroness Jane Van Lorick Goodall, is an English primatologist and anthropologist. Considered to be the world's foremost expert on chimpanzees, Goodall is best known for her over 55-year study of social and family interactions of wild chimpanzees since she first went to Gom Stream National Park in Tanzania in 1960. She is the founder of the Jane Goodall Institute and the Roots and Shoots program, and she has worked extensively on conservation and animal welfare issues. She has served on the board of the Non-Human Rights Project since its founding in 1996. In April 2002, she was named the UN Messenger of Peace. Dr. Goodall is also honorary member of the World Future Council. Early years Valerie Jane Morris Goodall was born in 1934 in Hampstead, London, to businessman Mortimer Herbert Morris Goodall and Margaret Mavanway Joseph a novelist from Milford Haven, Pembrokeshire, who wrote under the name Van Morris Goodall, as a child, as an alternative to a teddy bear, Goodall's father gave her a stuffed chimpanzee named Jubilee, and she has said her fondness for this figure started her early love of animals, commenting that my mother's friends were horrified by this toy, thinking it would frighten me and give me nightmares. Today, Jubilee still sits on Goodall's dresser in London. Goodall has a younger sister, Judith, who shares the same birthday. The two were born four years apart. Topic: <laughs> Africa. Goodall had always been passionate about animals and Africa, which brought her to the farm of a friend in the Kenya Highlands in 1957. From there, she obtained work as a secretary, and acting on her friend's advice, she telephoned Louis Leakey, the notable Kenyan archaeologist and paleontologist, with no other thought than to make an appointment to discuss animals. Leakey, believing that the study of existing great apes could provide indications of the behavior of early hominids, was looking for a chimpanzee researcher, though he kept the idea to himself. Instead, he proposed that Goodall work for him as a secretary. After obtaining approval from his wife Mary Leakey, Louis sent Goodall to Oldu Gorge in Tanganyika present-day Tanzania, where he laid out his plans. In 1958, Leakey sent Goodall to London to study primate behavior with Osman Hill and primate anatomy with John Napier. Leakey raised funds, and on 14 July 1960, Goodall went to Gomb Stream National Park, becoming the first of what would come to be called the Trimates. She was accompanied by her mother, whose presence was necessary to satisfy the requirements of David Anstey, Chief Warden, who was concerned for their safety. Leakey arranged funding and in 1962, he sent Goodall, who had no degree, to the University of Cambridge. She went to Newnham College, Cambridge, and obtained a PhD in ethology. She became the eighth person to be allowed to study for a PhD there without first having obtained a BA or BSc. Her thesis was completed in 1965 under the supervision of Robert Hind on the behavior of free-living chimpanzees, detailing her first five years of study at the Gomb Reserve. <laughs> Personal life Goodall has been married twice. On 28 March 1964, she married a Dutch nobleman, wildlife photographer Baron Hugo van Lorik, at Chelsea Old Church, London, and became known during their marriage as Baroness Jane van Lorik Goodall. The couple had a son, Hugo Eric Louis born 1967. they divorced in 1974. The following year, she married Derek Bryceson, a member of Tanzania's parliament and the director of that country's national parks. He died of cancer in October 1980. With his position in the Tanzanian government as head of the country's national park system, Bryceson was able to protect Goodall's research project and implement an embargo on tourism at Gomb. Goodall has expressed fascination with Bigfoot. When asked if she believes in God, Goodall said in September 2010, I don't have any idea of who or what God is. But I do believe in some great spiritual power. I feel it particularly when I'm out in nature. It's just something that's bigger and stronger than what I am or what anybody is. I feel it. And it's enough for me. <laughs> 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 
Topic Work Topic Research at Gomb Stream National Park Goodall is best known for her study of chimpanzee social and family life. She began studying the Kasakala chimpanzee community in Gomb Stream National Park, Tanzania, in 1960. Without collegiate training directing her research, Goodall observed things that strict scientific doctrines may have overlooked. Instead of numbering the chimpanzees she observed, she gave them names such as Fifi and David Greybeard, and observed them to have unique and individual personalities, an unconventional idea at the time. She found that, "...it isn't only human beings who have personality, who are capable of rational thought and emotions like joy and sorrow." She also observed behaviors such as hugs, kisses, pats on the back, and even tickling, what we consider, "...human," actions. Goodall insists that these gestures are evidence of the close, supportive, affectionate bonds that develop between family members and other individuals within a community, which can persist throughout a lifespan of more than 50 years. These findings suggest that similarities between humans and chimpanzees exist in more than genes alone, and can be seen in emotion, intelligence, and family and social relationships. Goodall's research at Gomb Stream is best known to the scientific community for challenging two long-standing beliefs of the day, that only humans could construct and use tools, and that chimpanzees were vegetarians. While observing one chimpanzee feeding at a termite mound, she watched him repeatedly place stalks of grass into termite holes, then remove them from the hole covered with clinging termites, effectively, fishing, for termites. The chimps would also take twigs from trees and strip off the leaves to make the twig more effective, a form of object modification that is the rudimentary beginnings of toolmaking. Humans had long distinguished ourselves from the rest of the animal kingdom as man the toolmaker. In response to Goodall's revolutionary findings, Louis Leakey wrote, We must now redefine man, redefine tool, or accept chimpanzees as human. In contrast to the peaceful and affectionate behaviors she observed, Goodall also found an aggressive side of chimpanzee nature at Gomb Stream. She discovered that chimps will systematically hunt and eat smaller primates such as colobus monkeys. Goodall watched a hunting group isolate a colobus monkey high in a tree, block all possible exits, then one chimpanzee climbed up and captured and killed the colobus. The others then each took parts of the carcass, sharing with other members of the troop in response to begging behaviors. The chimps at Gomb kill and eat as much as one-third of the Colobus population in the park each year. This alone was a major scientific find that challenged previous conceptions of chimpanzee diet and behavior. But perhaps more startling, and disturbing, was the tendency for aggression and violence within chimpanzee troops. Goodall observed dominant females deliberately killing the young of other females in the troop to maintain their dominance, sometimes going as far as cannibalism. She says of this revelation, "...during the first ten years of the study I had believed, that the Gomb chimpanzees were, for the most part, rather nicer than human beings. Then suddenly we found that chimpanzees could be brutal. That they, like us, had a darker side to their nature." She described the 1974–1978 Gomb Chimpanzee War in her memoir, Through a Window, My Thirty Years with the Chimpanzees of Gomb. Her findings revolutionized contemporary knowledge of chimpanzee behavior, and were further evidence of the social similarities between humans and chimpanzees, albeit in a much darker manner. Goodall also set herself apart from the traditional conventions of the time by naming the animals in her studies of primates, instead of assigning each a number. Numbering was a nearly universal practice at the time, and thought to be important in the removal of oneself from the potential for emotional attachment to the subject being studied. Setting herself apart from other researchers also led her to develop a close bond with the chimpanzees and to become, to this day, the only human ever accepted into chimpanzee society. She was the lowest ranking member of a troop for a period of 22 months. Among those whom Goodall named during her years in Gomb were David Greybeard, a grey chinned male who first warmed up to Goodall, Goliath, a friend of David Greybeard, originally the alpha male named for his bold nature, 
Mike, who through his cunning and improvisation displaced Goliath as the alpha male Humphrey, a big, strong, bullisome male Gigi, a large, sterile female who delighted in being the aunt of any young chimps or humans Mr. McGregor, a belligerent older male Flo, a motherly, high-ranking female with a bulbous nose and ragged ears, and her children, Figan, Fabian, Freud, Fifi, and Flint Frodo, Fifi's second oldest child, an aggressive male who would frequently attack Jane, and ultimately forced her to leave the troop when he became alpha male. Topic Jane Goodall Institute In 1977, Goodall established the Jane Goodall Institute JGI, which supports the GOMB research, and she is a global leader in the effort to protect chimpanzees and their habitats. With 19 offices around the world, the JGI is widely recognized for community-centered conservation and development programs in Africa. Its global youth program, Roots and Shoots began in 1991 when a group of 16 local teenagers met with Goodall on her back porch in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. They were eager to discuss a range of problems they knew about from first-hand experience that caused them deep concern. The organization now has over 10,000 groups in over 100 countries. Due to an overflow of handwritten notes, photographs, and data piling up at Jane's home in Dar es Salaam in the mid-1990s, the Jane Goodall Institute's Center for Primate Studies was created at the University of Minnesota to house and organize this data. Currently all of the original Jane Goodall archives reside there and have been digitized and analyzed and placed in an online database. On 17 March 2011, Duke University spokesman Carl Bates announced that the archives will move to Duke, with Anne E. Pusey, Duke's chairman of evolutionary anthropology, overseeing the collection. Pusey, who managed the archives in Minnesota and worked with Goodall in Tanzania, had worked at Duke for a year. Today, Goodall devotes virtually all of her time to advocacy on behalf of chimpanzees and the environment, traveling nearly 300 days a year. Goodall is also a board member for the world's largest chimpanzee sanctuary outside of Africa, Save the Chimps in Fort Pierce, Florida. Topic activism Goodall credits the 1986 Understanding Chimpanzees Conference, hosted by the Chicago Academy of Sciences, with shifting her focus from observation of chimpanzees to a broader and more intense concern with animal-human conservation. She is the former president of Advocates for Animals, an organization based in Edinburgh, Scotland, that campaigns against the use of animals in medical research, zoos, farming and sport. Goodall is a vegetarian and advocates the diet for ethical, environmental, and health reasons. In the inner world of farm animals, Goodall writes that farm animals are far more aware and intelligent than we ever imagined and, despite having been bred as domestic slaves, they are individual beings in their own right. As such, they deserve our respect. And our help. Who will plead for them if we are silent? Goodall has also said, thousands of people who say they love animals sit down once or twice a day to enjoy the flesh of creatures who have been treated so with little respect and kindness just to make more meat. In April 2008, Goodall gave a lecture entitled Reason for Hope at the University of San Diego's Joan B. Kroc Institute for Peace and Justice Distinguished Lecture Series. In May 2008, Goodall controversially described Edinburgh Zoo's new primate enclosure as a wonderful facility where monkeys are probably better off than those living in the wild in an area like Budongo, where one in six gets caught in a wire snare, and countries like Congo, where chimpanzees, monkeys and gorillas are shot for food commercially. This was in conflict with advocates for animals' position on captive animals. In June 2008, Goodall confirmed that she had resigned the presidency of the organization which she had held since 1998, citing her busy schedule and explaining, I just don't have time for them. Goodall is a patron of Population Concern Charity Population Matters, and is currently an ambassador for Disney Nature. In 2011, Goodall became a patron of Australian animal protection group Voiceless, the Animal Protection Institute. I have for decades been concerned about factory farming, in part because of the tremendous harm inflicted on the environment, but also because of the shocking ongoing cruelty perpetuated on millions of sentient beings. In 2012, Goodall took on the role of challenger for the Engage in Conservation Challenge with the Do School, formerly known as the DNF Academy. 
She worked with a group of aspiring social entrepreneurs to create a workshop to engage young people in conserving biodiversity, and to tackle a perceived global lack of awareness of the issue. In 2014, Goodall wrote to Air France executives criticizing the airline's continued transport of monkeys to laboratories. Goodall called the practice cruel and traumatic for the monkeys involved. The same year Goodall also wrote to the National Institutes of Health NIH to criticize maternal deprivation experiments on baby monkeys in NIH laboratories. Prior to the 2015 UK general election, she was one of several celebrities who endorsed the parliamentary candidacy of the Green Party's Caroline Lucas. Goodall is a critic of fox hunting and was among more than 20 high profile people who signed a letter to members of parliament in 2015 to oppose Conservative Prime Minister David Cameron's plan to amend the hunting. Act 2004. Criticism Some primatologists have suggested flaws in Goodall's methodology which may call into question the validity of her observations. Goodall used unconventional practices in her study, for example, naming individuals instead of numbering them. At the time, numbering was used to prevent emotional attachment and loss of objectivity. Goodall wrote in 1993, "...when, in the early 1960s, I brazenly used such words as childhood, adolescence, motivation, excitement, and mood I was much criticized. Even worse was my crime of suggesting that chimpanzees had personalities." I was ascribing human characteristics to non-human animals and was thus guilty of that worst of ethological sins anthropomorphism." Many standard methods aim to avoid interference by observers, and in particular some believe that the use of feeding stations to attract gomb chimpanzees has altered normal foraging and feeding patterns and social relationships. This argument is the focus of a book published by Margaret Power in 1991. It has been suggested that higher levels of aggression and conflict with other chimpanzee groups in the area were due to the feeding, which could have created the wars between chimpanzee social groups described by Goodall, aspects of which she did not witness in the years before artificial feeding began at Gomb. Thus, some regard Goodall's observations as distortions of normal chimpanzee behavior. Goodall herself acknowledged that feeding contributed to aggression within and between groups, but maintained that the effect was limited to alteration of the intensity and not the nature of chimpanzee conflict, and further suggested that feeding was necessary for the study to be effective at all. Craig Stanford of the Jane Goodall Research Institute at the University of Southern California states that researchers conducting studies with no artificial provisioning have a difficult time viewing any social behavior of chimpanzees, especially those related to intergroup conflict. Some recent studies, such as those by Cricket Sands in the Gualugo Triangle, Congo, and Christoph Bosch in the Thai National Park, Ivory Coast, have not shown the aggression observed in the GOMB studies. However, other primatologists disagree that the studies are flawed. For example, Jim Moore provides a critique of Margaret Power's assertions, and some studies of other chimpanzee groups have shown aggression similar to that in GOMB even in the absence of feeding. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Plagiarism and Seeds of Hope. On the 22nd of March 2013, Hachette Book Group announced that Goodall's and co-author Gail Hudson's new book, Seeds of Hope, would not be released on the 2nd of April as planned due to the discovery of plagiarized portions. A reviewer for the Washington Post found unattributed sections lifted from websites about organic tea, tobacco, and an amateurish astrology site, as well as from Wikipedia. Goodall apologized and stated. It is important to me that the proper sources are credited, and I will be working diligently with my team to address all areas of concern. My goal is to ensure that when this book is released it is not only up to the highest of standards, but also that the focus be on the crucial messages it conveys." The book was released on 1 April 2014, after review and the addition of 57 pages of endnotes. Topic. In popular culture Topic. Gary Larson cartoon incident 
One of Gary Larson's Far Side cartoons shows two chimpanzees grooming. One finds a blonde human hair on the other and inquires, "...conducting a little more research with that Jane Goodall tramp?" Goodall herself was in Africa at the time, and the Jane Goodall Institute thought this was in bad taste, and had their lawyers draft a letter to Larson and his distribution syndicate, in which they described the cartoon as an "...atrocity." They were stymied by Goodall herself when she returned and saw the cartoon, as she stated that she found the cartoon amusing. Since then, all profits from sales of a shirt featuring this cartoon go to the Jane Goodall Institute. Goodall wrote a preface to the Far Side Gallery 5, detailing her version of the controversy, and the Institute's letter was included next to the cartoon in the complete Far Side collection. She praised Larson's creative ideas, which often compare and contrast the behavior of humans and animals. In 1988, when Larson visited Gomb, he was attacked by a chimpanzee named Frodo. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Awards and recognition. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Honors. <laughs> 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 Goodall has received many honors for her environmental and humanitarian work, as well as others. She was named a Dame Commander of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire in an investiture held in Buckingham Palace in 2004. In April 2002, Secretary General Kofi Annan named Goodall a United Nations Messenger of Peace. Her other honors include the Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement, the French Legion of Honor, Medal of Tanzania, Japan's prestigious Kyoto Prize, the Benjamin Franklin Medal in Life Science, the Gandhi King Award for Nonviolence and the Spanish Prince of Asturias Awards. She is also a member of the advisory board of BBC Wildlife magazine and a patron of Population Matters formerly the Optimum Population Trust. She has received many tributes, honors, and awards from local governments, schools, institutions, and charities around the world. Goodall is honored by the Walt Disney Company with a plaque on the Tree of Life at Walt Disney World's Animal Kingdom theme park, alongside a carving of her beloved David Greybeard, the original chimpanzee that approached Goodall during her first year at GOMB. In 2010, Dave Matthews and Tim Reynolds held a benefit concert at Da Constitution Hall in Washington, D.C. to commemorate GOMB 50, a global celebration of Jane Goodall's pioneering chimpanzee research and inspiring vision for our future. Time magazine named Goodall as one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2019. Topic Awards 1980, Order of the Golden Ark, World Wildlife Award for Conservation 1984, J. Paul Getty Wildlife Conservation Prize 1985, Living Legacy Award from the International Women's League 1985, Society of the United States, Award for Humane Excellence, American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals 1987, Ian Biggs Prize 1987, Golden Plate Award, American Academy of Achievement 1989, Encyclopedia Wikipedia Britannica Award for Excellence on the Dissemination of Learning for the Benefit of Mankind, Anthropologist of the Year Award 1990, The Ames Award, American Anthropological Association, Whooping Crane Conservation Award, Conoco, Inc., Gold Medal of the Society of Women Geographers, Inamori Foundation Award, Washoe Award, the Kyoto Prize in Basic Science 1991, the Edinburgh Medal 1993, Rainforest Alliance Champion Award 1994, Chester Zoo Diamond Jubilee Medal 1995, Commander of the Order of the British Empire, presented by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, the National Geographic Society Hubbard Medal for Distinction in Exploration, Discovery, and Research, Lifetime Achievement Award, in Defense of Animals, the Moody Gardens Environmental Award, Honorary Wardenship of Uganda National Parks 1996, the Zoological Society of London Silver Medal, the Tanzanian Kilimanjaro Medal, the Primate Society of Great Britain Conservation Award, the Caring Institute Award, the Polar Bear Award, William Proctor Prize for Scientific Achievement 1997, John and Alice Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement, David S. Ingalls Jr. Award for Excellence, Commonwealth Award for Public Service, the Field Museums Award of Merit, Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement, Royal Geographical Society, Discovery Channel Europe Award for a Lifetime of Discovery 1998, Disney's Animal Kingdom Eco Hero Award, National Science Board 
Public Service Award, the Orion Society's John Hay Award 1999, International Peace Award, Botanical Research Institute of Texas International Award of Excellence in Conservation, Community of Christ International Peace Award 2001, Graham J. Norton Award for Achievement in Increasing Community Livability, Rungis Award of the National Museum of Wildlife Art, USA, Roger Torrey Peterson Memorial Medal, Harvard Museum of Natural History, Masterpiece Award, Gandhi, King Award for Non-Violence 2002, the Huxley Memorial Medal, Royal Anthropological Institute of Great Britain and Ireland, United Nations, Messenger of Peace, Appointment 2003, Benjamin Franklin Medal in Life Science, Harvard Medical School's Center for Health and the Global Environment Award, Prince of Asturias Award for Technical and Scientific Achievement, Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire, presented by His Royal Highness Prince Charles, Chicago Academy of Sciences Honorary Environmental Leader Award, 2004, Nirenberg Prize for Science in the Public Interest, Will Rogers Spirit Award, the Rotary Club of Will Rogers and Will Rogers Memorial Museums, Lifetime Achievement Award, the International Fund for Animal Welfare, Honorary Degree from Haverford College 2005, Honorary Doctorate Degree in Science from Syracuse University 2005, Honorary Doctorate Degree in Science from Rutgers University 2005, Discovery and Imagination Award 2006-60 TH Anniversary Medal of the UNESCO 2006, French Legion d'honneur 2007, Honorary Doctorate Degree in Commemoration of Carl Linnaeus from Uppsala University 2007, Honorary Doctorate Degree from University of Liverpool 2008, Honorary Doctorate Degree from University of Toronto 2009, Honorary Doctorate Degree from National University of Córdoba 2009, Honorary Doctorate Degree from Pablo de Olavide University 2010 Bambi Award in the category, Our Earth Golden Doves for Peace Journalistic Prize issued by the Italian Research Institute Archivio de Samo 2011, Honorary Doctorate Degree from American University of Paris 2011, Grand Officer of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic 2012, named Grand Marshal of the 2013 Tournament of Roses Parade 2012, Honorary Doctorate Degree from National Tsinghua University NTHU, Taiwan 2013, Key to the City by Gustavo Petro, former Mayor of Bogotá 2014, President's Medal by the British Academy 2017, International Cosmos Prize Media Topic books 1969 My Friends the Wild Chimpanzees Washington, D.C., National Geographic Society 1971 Innocent Killers with H. Van Lorick Boston, Houghton Mifflin, London, Collins. 1971 In the Shadow of Man Boston, Houghton Mifflin, London, Collins. Published in 48 languages. 1986 The Chimpanzees of Gomb, Patterns of Behavior Boston, Belknap Press of the Harvard University Press. Published also in Japanese and Russian. R. R. Hawkins Award for the Outstanding Technical, Scientific or Medical Book of 1986, to Belknap Press of Harvard University Press, Boston. The Wildlife Society USA Award for Outstanding Publication in Wildlife Ecology and Management. 1990 Through a Window, 30 Years Observing the Gomb Chimpanzees London, Weidenfeld and Nicholson, Boston, Houghton Mifflin. Translated into more than 15 languages. 1991 Penguin Edition, UK. American Library Association Best list among nine notable books for 1991. 1991 Visions of Caliban co-authored with Dale Peterson, Ph.D. Boston, Houghton Mifflin. New York Times notable book for 1993. Library Journal Best Sci-Tech book for 1993. 1999 Brutal Kinship with Michael Nichols. New York, Aperture Foundation. 1999 Reason for Hope, A Spiritual Journey with Philip Berman. New York, Warner Books, Inc. Translated into Japanese and Portuguese. 
2040 Years at Gomb, New York, Stewart, Tabori, and Chang, 2000 Africa in My Blood, edited by Dale Peterson. New York, Houghton Mifflin Company. 2001 Beyond Innocence, an autobiography in letters, the later years, edited by Dale Peterson. New York, Houghton Mifflin Company. ISBN 0-618-12520-5 Online version 2002 The Ten Trusts, What We Must Do to Care for the Animals We Love with Mark Beckoff. San Francisco, Harper San Francisco 2005 Harvest for Hope, A Guide to Mindful Eating New York, Warner Books, Inc. ISBN 0-446-53362-9 2009 Hope for Animals and Their World, How Endangered Species Are Being Rescued from the Brink Grand Central Publishing ISBN 0-446-58177-1 2013 Seeds of Hope, Wisdom and Wonder from the World of Plants with Gail Hudson Grand Central Publishing ISBN 1-455-51322-9 Topic Children's Books 1972 Grub, The Bush Baby with H. Van Lorick. Boston, Houghton Mifflin. 1988 My Life with the Chimpanzees New York, Byron Price Visual Publications, Inc. translated into French, Japanese and Chinese. Parenting's Reading Magic Award for Outstanding Book for Children, 1989. 1989 The Chimpanzee Family Book Saxonville, M.A., Picture Book Studio, Munich, Neubauer Press, London, Picture Book Studio. Translated into more than 15 languages, including Japanese and Swahili. The UNICEF Award for the Best Children's Book of 1989. Austrian State Prize for Best Children's Book of 1990. 1989 Jane Goodall's Animal World, Chimps New York, Macmillan. 1989 Animal Family Series, Chimpanzee Family, Lion Family, Elephant Family, Zebra Family, Giraffe Family, Baboon Family, Hyena Family, Wildebeest Family Toronto, Madison Marketing Ltd. 1994 With Love New York, London, North South Books. Translated into German, French, Italian, and Japanese. 1999 Dr. White Illustrated by Julie Litty. New York, North South Books. 2000 The Eagle and the Wren illustrated by Alexander Reichstein. New York, North-South Books. 2001 Chimpanzees I Love, Saving Their World and Ours New York, Scholastic Press 2002 Forward, Slowly, 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 Said the Sloth by Eric Carl. Philomel Books 2004 Ricky and Henry, A True Story with Alan Marks Penguin Young Readers Group Topic. Films Goodall is the subject of more than 40 films 1965 Miss Goodall and the Wild Chimpanzees National Geographic Society 1975 Miss Goodall, The Hyena Story The World of Animal Behavior Series 16 mm 1979 version for Discovision, not released for Laserdisc 1984 Among the Wild Chimpanzees National Geographic Special 1988 People of the Forest with Hugo Van Lorik 1990 Chimpanzee Alert in the Nature Watch series, Central Television 1990 The Life and Legend of Jane Goodall National Geographic Society 1990 The Gomb Chimpanzees Bavarian Television 1995 Fifi's Boys for the Natural World series for the BBC 1996 Chimpanzee Diary for BBC Two Animal Zone 1997 Animal Minds for BBC Goodall voiced herself in the animated TV series The Wild Thornberries. 2000 Jane Goodall, Reason for Hope PBS special produced by KTCA 2001 Chimps Are Us, on Season 11, Episode 8. Scientific American Frontiers. Ched Angia Production Company. 2000-2001. PBS, archived from the original on 2006. 2002 Jane Goodall's Wild Chimpanzees IMAX format, in collaboration with Science North. 2005 Jane Goodall's Return to Gomb for Animal Planet. 2006 Chimps, So Like Us HBO film nominated for 1990 Academy Award 2007 When Animals Talk We Should Listen theatrical documentary feature co-produced by Animal Planet 
2010 Jane's Journey theatrical documentary feature co-produced by Animal Planet 2012 Chimpanzee theatrical nature documentary feature co-produced by Disney Nature 2017 Jane biographical documentary film National Geographic Studios, in association with Public Road Productions. The film is directed and written by Brett Morgan, music by Philip Glass. Topic see also Animal Faith Roots and Shoots USC Jane Goodall Research Center Non-Human Rights Project Barut Galdikas, the trimate who dedicated herself to orangutan study Stephen M. Wise Washo Timeline of Women in Science